Welcome to lesson 10 of my Erlang tutorial. In my previous lesson I was talking about fans, which are also known in other languages as uh, lambda functions or anonymous functions. And uh, I mentioned that uh, in functional language, a very important feature is that functions can um, take the other function as an argument and operate on it and then these are the high, uh, higher order f uh, functions. Um, and also, uh, I mentioned that the function can return other function. So uh, maybe I will show you this by using one example. So let me go to the Erlang show. So in the last video, I was showing the example of greetings, if I'm not mistaken. So we have the greetings and it's a fan. And uh, this fan takes the name as a uh, ar argument. And uh, it prints something like this. S, um, hello. And here the S, and then some string, and then the new line. And of course, I want to pass the name which was passed in the fan in this argument to print something like hello and the name which is passed. So I would use this function, something like this hello, hello Erlang. And uh, it prints for me. So it first assigns this uh, fan. <coughs> To this variable and then i can use it uh, like this so from from the time i uh, i bound this fa fan to this variable i can yeah, uh, use this and call it like, like i would call normal function now i would like to generalize this and i would like to show you how you can use uh, uh, functions which returns fans so first of all let me clear the screen Uh, I will prepare quite similar function, but th this time it will be generalized. So in the pr previous example, I always could write hello. In this example, I want to create the function where which will be producing the function. Uh, so I will use something like this. I will put here greeting because I want the greeting to be custom all, uh, every time I want, uh, I want to have different types of functions which will greet me di uh, differently. So here I will put the body of my fan, which will be returned uh, from, from this and will be bound to the, uh, to the variable. So here I have, I need to type fan, it will be returned from this function and here I will have the name and of course I need to end of end and here I will type IO format um, and here I will type something like this string so the custom greeting then I want to type here the name and the new line and the, the in this array which will be uh, this s and uh, and these two s's will be replaced I will just place the first greeting and then the name so a uh, greeting will be placed in this part of the string and the name will be placed in this part of the string okay I can press enter and as you can see the expression was evaluated so now I can create a different type of functions let me demonstrate how I will do it I will define the variable hello and I want to bind it to uh, the result of this fun and the result of this fun is another function uh, another fun so here I will say for example hello and uh, now I have a hello to hello I assigned this fun so this is the way to create the function which returns the fun um, so now if I will use this fun I can type something like hello 
Erlang and the result is hello Erlang. And uh, let's say I want to create a new function. I can use my ge generalized method of creating this greetings function. So I will type greetings and then hi. And this, this fun will, will greet uh, people or languages with a word hi. So it's created and now if I will invoke hi uh, with, for example, um, elixir, I get hi elixir. And then I can create a new one, for example, welcome. And I will do something like this. And I will welcome Lisp. And it will write welcome Lisp. So every time I, I created a new function, I, I put here some, some logic which is generalized. And thanks to this, I can define this, this insight uh, and then make the fun of it and uh, I can assign it to my variable and thanks to this I can produce other uh, f uh, funds. Um, so uh, this is very important concept for functional programming because this kind of operations are done uh, quite a lot. Um, so I will leave you with this and during my next lesson I will be talking about defining control, uh, custom control abstractions. Thanks for listening and have fun with fans.